because I really want community. I don't want Christianity, but I want community, and there's plenty of places to get it. But um, what I what I think that there should be more interactive, more interactive with learning how to listen, learning how to question. Um, I I do a lot of work with street epistemology, and I try to learn how to do questioning. And what I'll do is I'll watch it on YouTube, and I'll pause it and think, I wonder what the question will be next, and I'll prepare myself. I think there's workshops that churches could do to create better questioning, because um, there's a gentleman named, I forget his first name, his last name is Hayward, and he's also called the Naked Pastor, <laughs> which I love his, oh, his yeah. name. And uh, yeah. oh, okay. Instagram account. Yeah. yeah, I just learned of him not too long ago, and he wrote a book called Questions Are the Answers. And that's what I believe, is that we're not asking enough questions and we're not listening. I mean, Christians will ask questions like, why, why? <laughs> and you put you back you against a wall. Mm. But they're not very good at street epistemology because they always want to tell, they want to tell you, you know, they don't want to listen. Mm. If Christians were to go back to their roots in that way, if the, if the church or, or if you found a community, let's just say a local community that you're like, they went back to their root. They, they are, this is the Jesus way, uh, uh, high love for neighbor, um, that they are, it outweighs any sort of, um, self indulgence that you'd find in capitalism or anything like that, 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 that would probably be some critiques, um, from, from other people of the church. If you found a community like that, would that be a piece of evidence for you that maybe there is something here? Or would it be like, what would that experience be like for you? So I think my question back to you, Preston, would be, how would you, how would that come to being? How would the church get back to its roots? For more conversations between Christians and skeptics, subscribe to the Unbelievable podcast. And for more updates and bonus content, sign up to the Unbelievable newsletter.